Today, Baton Rouge leaders talked about what can be done to make the area of Nicholson Drive around Tigerland safer. And just last night, a man was actually hit and killed while crossing the road there. People that live nearby say it's just been unsafe for years. Miranda Thomas has more on what they're looking at. Guys, the crash happened this morning, and after speaking to a few people who live here, they're hoping to see a more pedestrian-friendly environment soon. Over the past three years, Baton Rouge has been in the top three parishes in the state for pedestrian fatalities. So far this year, there has been 64 pedestrian deaths, 13 of which occurred in Baton Rouge, not including 41-year-old Quentin Brown, who was hit yesterday morning. Something should be done. What it is exactly, I can't answer that. According to state police, a 2016 Dodge Charger was headed north on LA 30 or Nicholson Drive when the victim, Quentin Brown, walked across the street wearing dark colored clothing. Police say he was then struck and killed by the car. No charges have been filed in the case so far. They need to have lighting to where you can see. I, I drive from here at night and I can't see anything. It's like going down Nicholson Lane here going down towards Gardier, going towards LSU. There are no street lights. This man has lived in this area for years. He says he talked to us 10 years ago for the same issue. No lights on near this intersection, except the ones right here by this gas station. They need to, they need to have lighting. This happened just one day after Metro Councilwoman Jennifer Waka presented a plan to make the area more pedestrian friendly. But until more lights are placed there, a spokesperson for the Louisiana Highway and Safety Commission says wearing lighter clothing, a protective vest and a flashlight could potentially save your life. The problem is that these are not statistics, these are human lives, these are someone's mother, father, friend, cousin, sister, son, daughter. Um, and when you have that, you know, Maybe we can do better if we understand that fact that these aren't just statistics. Police are still looking into what happened, but we'll have more information for you as it becomes available. In Baton Rouge, Marina Thomas, WFB 9 News. Back to you. All right, just that.